Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes, so. Wanted to do a quick update video, show you some of the work that's been happening on the AI. Um, there's some weird texty thing going on there. I'm gonna get John to sort that one out. So what are you seeing here? Well, uh, I mentioned that I was working on some debugging stuff for the AI. And here's the sort of reaction to that. So um, right now, one of the things that was a problem was actually balancing out the different perceptions was really hard. Um, so I wrote a little thing for the debugger that shows when perceptions happen and shows the actual values for them. So here you can see the purple section um, they're on, in random colours right now, so it changes depending on when you start. But you can see here that the sight sense, which is in purple, goes up when they have vision for you. Or does should go up when they have vision for you. Okay, that's another bug. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So it resets when you don't have vision. Yeah, okay. I think I've inverted something. Um, but anyway, the point being that we can then look at the... So the yellow line there is the threshold for actually perceiving something. And the idea is that for each sense, um, have a different perception value. So if I do a gunshot, you can see that that uh, sort of pinkish looking line for incoming fire perception is being added to the purple perception, which is sight. Um, which means that every perception essentially adds up to the awareness of a particular character. And these perceptions have now um, an ADSR envelope involved with them that allows them to activate and decay at different rates. Um, currently it's on a linear decay for the whole sense, which is probably not right, so I'm gonna be changing that. But man, it's so much nicer to be able to visualize these things. So the red line is the overall perception and it's capped at a specific value right now, which is 120. The other values are changing as they start and stop perception. Um, so it's actually a lot simpler to understand. Okay, so if you look at the footstep sounds, for instance, the footstep perceptions, there are these tiny little lines showing the cursor, these tiny little lines here. Clearly, they're not loud enough to, to go inside the scale of perception that we should expect for thresholds. Um, so I'll need to scale those values up. It just means that this debugger will allow me to track when perceptions are um, working and not working. And now that I've got the debugger logging the history, I can actually check out and make sure the ADSR envelopes look, look about right for each perception in turn. So I've disabled um, the AI from actually doing anything on this once they perceive, just so I can test the perceptions out. Um, so there you go. It's taken a while to do some of this stuff just to get the sort of interface and things right. Um, but it is important to be able to debug this stuff. So uh, it's a nice little addition to the functionality. Um, yep, yeah, so next up I'll show you some of the more balanced perceptions working and we'll start on the uh, working on the cover system updates and other stuff so thank you for watching i shall update you again very soon